Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Excuse this thing here. Finally, another story time. The first story time video I did was when I always got suspended in school. That story time was nice, and people were like, Oh, when are you doing another story time? When are you doing another story time? Oh my god, we love your story time. Okay, I like my story times too. So, I'm gonna do this story time from something that happened recently and something that I can remember completely. I'm going to be telling you this story on my first day in a nigerian university like my first day of school yeah guys so let's get straight into the video no time to waste time i'm going to try to go into detail as much as possible so yeah let's get straight into the video as you guys know and some of you don't know i go to the university of abuja it's like a federal university at first when i got admission to the school i was excited that okay Federal University, I'm going to have my own house, there's going to be freedom, I'll do anything I want, somebody's going to be disturbing me to come and wash plates. I've never been in boarding school, even secondary school, I was never in boarding school. So the excitement was just there that I was going to leave my house. So at first, I was considering staying in the hostel, but then the hostel there is really nasty and oh god, I don't, I don't want that. So yeah, I said I was not going to stay in the hostel, but then the only option was staying in the new hostel and the new hostel that time the new hostel was like a better version of the old hostel but the toilet was still nasty so you know go to like you know in nigerian university now you have to know somebody my dad knew somebody so the person was like okay they are going to try and get me a space in the new hostel so i'm going to stay in the new hostel blah 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 one week passed two weeks passed they didn't get back to us my house is not that that it's not all that far from the university so my first three weeks in school i was going from home every day like every every if i have class by eight o'clock i'll leave the house by seven so i'll get to school get ready and everything so as at that time i was not really feeling like i was in school like that like that and that time i did not make friends the only friends i had were like my brother's friends those ones were in 200 level we don't even really see each other like that because that time we were just resuming everybody was just trying to get their stuff right they were trying to set to to school and everything so those ones did not really have my time like that so in school but i'll just go to school nobody knew me that time i always go to school in my oversized joggers and t-shirts my t-shirts are usually bigger than this then i wear this for my bucket hat so nobody even noticed me all these guys normally if you are going to school you will still get all these guys that are new girl and they can see a new face and that time i used to wear my blue my blue contact lens so they noticed me and i'll just be like Anytime I hear somebody like, like, bitch, am I your dog? I did not want the attention because that time, as I when I resumed, I think I was at 16. Yeah, I was at 16 K followers that time. I would not say I'm a shy person. I don't think I'm a shy person. I'm not shy like that. But when they meet me in person, they'll be expecting me to give them the vibes in real life. But I know that I'm kind of not shy. Um, you had your. You you can you do you. Shy. I'm kind of shy around you. If I don't really know you, know you like that, I'm kind of shy. But if you don't know, know, they do not care. Okay. So I was just going to school. I go to school in the morning. If my lecture is eight to three, they will start coming to pick me by two. So it was basically like I was in the secondary school for like my first three weeks. That was weird as fuck well because people that were in the hostel and after lectures, I did not have friends. I said already. I, I, even to myself. I think I, I know only like three people in my department that have faculty that job. They really talk like that. Yeah, so after after lectures, now normal people will go to hostel, people that are living off campus, they will go to their off key, have their Jesus. I wanted that feeling that I would know that, okay, I'm not going back home. Because it was really stressful going from home to school every day. I also had to move to my house in school. And I go to this time, but I was sitting, there's one place in school we call Cove Ground like where they do the convocation the place looks like stadium so it's big so anytime they're coming to pick me I'll, uh, when i call them that they're coming i'll just go straight to cover i have one corner that is standing i was low-key nobody knew me i was low-key so i'll just sit down there now people don't come and talk they'll come and talk i'll not give them i leave me alone so um 
I was sitting in the coffee ground with girls from group, they were like three. So three of them were just talking now, so I just passed them and went to sit down. So one of them was like, ah, she's following me on Instagram, blah, 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 blah. From there, we started talking. She said she, she, she is also staying off key. This, that, this, that, that she's trying to look for a house. So this girl was not like, oh, there's one house in Gibi, oh, that the, the house is nice. This, that, this, that, that we can take it together, we'll be roommates. After like two weeks, we now paid for the place. So finally, finally, and I became a university student. I became, I became a campus girl. The first time when I moved to my house, like before I moved to my house now, my dad wanted to make the place like, like house. So everything was there. The night of that day that I now moved to my house, then I said, okay, there's no water in the tank, that um, they, they are not going to be able to pump water because there's no light, this, that, this, that. We now had to carry buckets. We are now looking for water in the middle of the night, like around 9 p.m. I think I went on edge left. I was like, I'm suffering. But lucky, 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 I enjoyed looking for that water. Okay. It was adventurous. But that night was fun over Russia. Then the next morning when I woke up, it was like I woke up, had breakfast, everything. We we're feeling fine now that okay, I was staying up, we're staying, we're staying off key. We're not even staying in the hostel. That day, but I was like, okay, since um, I'm not coming from home again now, uh, you know, there's just sometimes you just feel like dressing, but we just feel like wearing something like this. I wore one dress like this. I was feeling fly. I, I, I wore my long wig. I, I didn't wear slippers this time. I, I was just trying to look good that day for no reason. Like I just walked out of my house and took a car and to school. This time I knew where I was having my lectures. I wasn't even talking to anybody. I was feeling like... <laughs> okay. Where we have our lectures is called ETF. So this ETF bar, people sit outside and they just just when you're waiting for your next lecture or when the lecturer has not come again, people will just stay there and just for a while. My lecture hall that this particular day, unfortunately, my lecture hall was down, 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 down that that is it. And I had to walk. As I was walking, people were like, this day I was feeling like a celeb. Sorry, I'll give me your chicken. I'll buy for you. Okay. Everything. Okay. Please don't eat it though. Yeah, so my class was down that road. What? Yeah, guys. So as I was saying before, my brother kept interrupting me, interrupting me like fifty times. My class was on the last block, so I had to walk through. Everybody was like, "Oh my god, please, Oh my god, I follow you on Instagram." Yeah, so that day I was just feeling like a celebrity. I was just. <laughs> it was not one of those days I was wearing my sweats and big t-shirt. I dressed well, so I was feeling fly. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, celebrity ways, oh god. After lectures now, I was still trying to be my lonely self. So it felt weird now that okay, today I'm not going back home. I'm going, I'm, I'm, I'm going directly to my house. Throughout that day, like people were like talking to me, lectures after lectures and everything. It was just fun overall. Yeah. So that was my first day in school. Everything was just fun. And I felt like, okay, my first day in university, I don't think I'm going to forget because my first day in actual university because I was in university before, but I was coming from home. But my first day in hostel university. Yeah. It was a really nice experience. I felt like a superstar. So yeah, that is the end of the story time. That is it about my first day in university. You know, fuck with me, fuck with me, and do not skip my ad. Thank you for watching. It's your favorite girl, Visayo. Tell me, let me know in the comments if you want more story times. And if you don't want more story times, let me know the other type of video ideas you want to see. So yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's your favorite girl, Fista, yo. I'll be back with more videos.